Hello, this is Dr. Alan Yim. In this video, I'm going to be talking about medians. So, first of all, I'm going to give the regular definition for a median, and that is in terms of a scale degree. Normally, when we say median and submedian, we're talking about the third and the sixth degrees of the scale. So, how does this work? Well, a median is this third relationship. So, let's say we're in C major. The median, of course, is E, and the submedian, the note below the tonic, is La, A. Okay, so median E and submedian A in terms of a C major scale. Of course, we could think in minor as well, which in that case would be E flat and A again. Okay, let's now make some definitions in terms of chords built on these median degrees or alterations of it. So first of all, diatonic medians. Well, diatonic of course means that it's in the scale. So suppose we're in the key of C major and we have the tonic chord. It looks like this of course, C major chord. If we build on the median, we have a diatonic median and this is of course E minor. And if I build on the submedian, we're going to have, sorry, there we go, an A minor chord. So we have three and six. Now, notice that when you do this, you have some notes in common. So these chords are actually very close to each other because they all have C and E in common. So. Um, if you wanted to, you could move from one chord to the other simply by moving one of the notes. For example, let's say we wanted to get to E minor. I have to move the B. <laughs> I have to get the B by moving the C down, like this. Or, if I want to get to A minor, of course, I would go like this. I would move this note up here, and this is A, C, E, like that. Okay, so you can see I'm keeping two of the notes in common. And I'm moving one of the notes by a step, so or a half step. So in the case of going from C down or up to E minor, I only need to move one half step. So I'm going to put a little one there. To get from C to A minor, I have to go two half steps. So this is equal to the number of half steps. They're very close chromatically and you can see um, it sounds good but the thing is it doesn't really make much of an impact. By the way I guess I should mention that you could also do this in minor as well. So if we were in C minor let's just take a look at what that looks like and sounds like. Okay so C minor it would just be like this and imagine that I'm going to play the same chords with this key signature. So this from C minor to E flat minor or from C minor to A flat major. I just said E flat minor, didn't I? Okay, C flat, C minor to E flat major or C minor to A flat major. So that's the only difference, right? We would go to E flat or to A flat like this. Okay, what about chromatic medians? Well, this is slightly different because we're going to go to the opposite mode and borrow a chord. So, for example, this is slightly different than the way we looked at it before. Suppose we're in C major. Okay, instead of going to E minor, we're going to go to E flat. We're going to borrow from the minor. And if we go to A flat below, again, instead of going to A minor, we're going to go to the flat six and borrow again like that. Okay, so we're going to go to either 3, which is a borrowed chord, I'm going to put all the flat there, or to 6, which is also borrowed. Now that's, what you see there of course is not the simplest way to get there. We don't play chromatic medians normally like this. Because the voice leading, it makes everybody leap a third and that's not really um, good for the performers. So instead it would look something like this. We would start in C major, and then let's suppose we wanted to go to E flat. 
well, I'm only going to go to the nearest notes and I'm going to keep the common tone. So E flat, we're going to go there and G there. And then, of course, I'm going to take the C down to B flat like that. Now, again, we want to observe how many half steps we have to take to get there. The E has to go down a half step and the C has to go down a whole step. So notice this is three. It's a little bit more than the diatonic median. What happens if we go in the opposite direction? Well, if we want to get to A flat, of course, we're going to take that up a half step. Oh, sorry. We're going to, yes, that's correct. And then this is going to come here. And then this is going to go like this. Okay, so if we're going the opposite direction, okay, the E has to go, um, has to go down a half step, and the G has to go up. So, we are going to have to move two. Now, chromatic medians, uh, if you look at, we have four for each key. So, I'm not going to write them all out because um, it's a bit much. But if we were to, for example, go up to E and change the quality, that's another way of creating a chromatic median. So, the, the first way is to alter the scale degree you're going to. So, instead of going to E, natural, we would, we can go up to E flat like this. Okay, see it whoops. So here, you see we're going to E flat. We could also go down to A, but go, instead go to A flat. So, and maintain the same quality, like I said, borrowing from the six. Or we could also go up a minor third or down a major third, keeping the same Okay, so I go to E natural, but this time instead of doing a minor chord, I'm going to alter the, the middle note to G sharp. So I'm going to go to E, or I can go down to A natural, but this time instead of having an A minor chord like I normally would expect, I can play this major. So here again, I'm altering one pitch in the chord to create the chromatic median. So here, I make this is a three, a major three. So it's not flat. And this one, of course, is a major six. And it sounds like this. And I'm going down. Now, if I could, I'm not going to write this all out, but the shortest voice leading uh, for the first one. So, to do this, this is also two, and then to go the other way, this one is three. Okay, so every, uh, if you do this in minor, you're also going to end up with four different chromatic medians. Go up or down, a major or a minor third, and keep the quality of the chord. So, when you have a chromatic median, just a reminder, take this to get here. It's up or down a minor third or a major third. And then you keep, so keep quality. That's the easiest way to remember this, I think. Okay, so there, there are four more if I do it in C minor. Now, Let's look at the double chromatic median. Up or down a major third or minor third. Non-diatonic. Okay, so what does that mean? So that means if you're in major, of course, if you go up in major normally, it would be up a major third, but we're going to go up a minor third and we're going to change the quality. So we're making two chromatic alterations. First to the root, we're going to the wrong one, and then we're going to use the wrong quality. So the quality is going to switch on top of it. So let's see what, how this works. Um, I know these definitions are a little bit confusing, so you know the shortcut is just to remember that in a double chromatic median, the quality changes from what you're starting with. So let's say we start in C major. And we know that normally you would go up to E, 
but instead we're going to go up to E flat, which is the non-diatonic. We're altering it chromatically, and then we're going to write the chord here. And then not only that, we are going to change the quality of this as well. So we're going to make it E flat minor. So there are no tones in common. And if I use, if I make this into the smoothest possible voice leading, it's going to be the farthest away of all the chromatic medians. So let's take a look. First of all, I think you can see that these two need to go like this, and then the top voice needs to go like this. So how far away is it? Well, from C to B flat is a whole step, and then the other two are half steps. So we have four. So let's take a look at the other one. I can go down to A flat, you know, the borrowed chord, but this time instead of having A flat major, I would go to A flat minor. The bottom note is going to go to C flat, and we're left with E flat. Looks like this. Okay, how far away is this from um, the tonic chord? Well, C flat, that's a half step, E flat's a half step, and then the A flat's a half step away from G, so this is three half steps away. Making, making a little comparison here, you could see the diatonic medians are either one or two step, half steps away, the chromatics are two or three half steps away, and the chrom doubly chromatics are three or four half steps away. Let's take a listen to this. Okay, here's, here's down up to E flat. These are doubly chromatic medians, and here's to A flat major. Sorry. Okay, has a little bit of drama there. From, sorry, C to A flat minor, or up to A E flat minor. So again, changing the quality of what it would normally be, and also um, going to the uh, borrowed root. So, so maybe we should look at C minor just to be complete here. You notice that for each of these keys, there are two. Um, chromatic, double chromatic medians. Again, chromatic medians, there are four for each chord and for diatonic two. Going up, of course, we're not going to go to E flat. We're going to go to E natural. And this is very important. The quality changes. So this is the biggest difference. Unlike the chromatic medians where the quality stays the same, here we're going to change it. So this is going to become E major. To do that, I need to write a sharp here, and I need to write a natural here. Okay, what a mess. Now, to put it in a form that's closest to what we started with, so this is going to be E sharp, I mean, sorry, G sharp, E natural, and B natural. So how, how far away is this? Well, B is a half step, this is a half step away from C. The E is a half step away from E flat and the G sharp of course is a half step away so this is three half steps away if I go down from C I'm going to go to a natural so again I'm, this is from like the major mode a natural but I'm going to change the <clears throat> the quality so this is going to be an so this is going to be an a major and this is going to be an E okay Let's take a look at how this one sounds. So, and then to A major. Ooh, I think I wrote it. There we go. So, it's kind of hard to see. Um, so how far away is that one? Well, the, the C to C sharp and the E flat to E natural. That is a half, um, two half steps, that's two. And then of course, G to A natural. That's um, two, so that's four altogether. All right, so let me play all of these. These are all the doubly chromatic medians in relationship to uh, a given chord, which in this case is C. <clears throat> C and C minor. Okay, so here it is. C major to A flat minor, and 
in C minor to E flat to A major and to A major. So um, composers tended to use the ones that were smaller, so they tended to use these, and also here they tended to use um, these here, the ones that were smaller in a given category. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.